this was an event let me tell you i have my luggage and everything folks hey tea party welcome back to my channel if you are not subscribed already make sure that you subscribe down below before we get into the video so today is going to be a little bit of a story time and i wanted to do this video particularly because it has been on my mind <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, because every time I'm out in public and someone asks me about my Cartier ring, I don't know if it's Cartier or Cartier. I'm gonna say Cartier because I believe that's how they say it. When I called customer service, I feel like they said Cartier. Either way, you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm gonna say Cartier throughout this video. Anyway, every time I get questions or people ask, is that the Cartier love ring? And I'm like, yeah, it is. I always say something along the lines of I regret purchasing this ring and i'm going to be sharing with you guys the whole story my whole mindset how the experience was and where we are now i'm going to go all the way up until that i figured out that i wanted the cartier love ring probably about i would say four to six months before i actually got the ring it's not like something you have to really just think about i don't think i mean i guess depending on your scenario it's not like a surgery or anything like that so you don't have to think that long <laughs> but i did think that long before i bought this ring just because I don't have a Cartier near me so my only other my only option was to go to a Cartier store in another state and as you guys know for my job I do actually travel a decent amount so I kind of knew that whenever I traveled again I was going to get the ring so I was looking at the ring online I knew exactly which one I wanted because if you have looked on the website then you know there are two different prices for what seems like the same ring so there are I don't know the proper term but there's like a, a silver gold white gold I think that's what they call it white gold yellow gold and rose gold I think those are the three options but there's six options of rings I believe it's six and the reason why is because there's a thicker love ring meaning like okay I'm gonna dramatize it so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about if it's this wide on the finger then that's the more expensive one and then the other one is like half that the reason why I'm dramatizing that like from here to here is so you guys can see what I'm talking about because if I say like this much to this much Y'all really can't see that. <laughs> but you get the concept. Like it's just wide as far as how big it is on the finger. That's the difference. That's the reason why there's two prices. Just wanted to get that out the way. So I decided that I wanted to get the smaller ring because I had dreams of getting two Cartier Love rings. I wanted to stack them because I have seen that done before where people have a silver one and a gold one stacked on top of each other or a silver one and a rose gold or a gold and a rose gold. Just stacking your options. That was what my ultimate goal was. So I knew I wanted to get the smaller one and it was cheaper. So it was just cool for me to purchase a cheaper ring I don't know even though I was planning on getting two so it really didn't matter but it still was going to ultimately be a cheaper decision okay so <laughs> I'm trying to build y'all up to this whole story so bear with me so I knew exactly what I wanted. I had a screenshot on my phone I knew exactly what I wanted when I got there so I flew to New York for some work that I was doing and I was only there for three days so I flew in it was like I flew in on a Thursday I had the event that I needed to work on the Friday and I was flying out on a Saturday so I had already planned done the GPS for how far the Cartier store was from the airport and how far the Cartier store was from my hotel so I was trying to see did I I care about a long drive from the airport to the Cartier store or the Cartier store to the hotel this was an event let me tell you I was serious so I had decided on which Cartier store I want to go to because I believe they only have two in New York I went to the one that I believe is the biggest one in the United States um, or maybe the biggest one period it has I think four or five floors I didn't know I was going to that one when I picked it I just picked it because it was closer to my hotel and that's what I had decided on I cared about it being closer to so I got a lift and I got to the Cartier store I had my luggage and everything folks so I don't know where I was <laughs> my mom just called me but I think I was at the point in which I was saying that I had just walked into the Cartier store oh I had my luggage with me folks okay so if you ever been to New York um and you ever been to like Times Square you have seen people with luggage or whatever or just and pretty much everything goes in New York and the reason why I'm saying that is because if I would have walked in a store with a luggage in Memphis they would have thought I was trying to rob the place or something like that I don't know they just would have it wouldn't have been okay but I knew it was going to be okay because it was New York and everything goes like you can be yourself you can do whatever you want in New York I walked in had my luggage and everything I was struggling to get my luggage up the stairs <laughs> I 
<laughs> let me just add nobody offered to help me not that i couldn't get the luggage up the stairs by myself but i was struggling and it was two men literally staring at me struggle with this luggage but anyway that's a whole nother story so i got the luggage up the stairs and of course when you walk into a jewelry store you don't really know where everything is especially if it's your first time being in there so i was kind of looking around and then someone came and helped me he told me exactly where the ring was at first he let me try it on the bigger one and i he told me the price and i was like well that ain't the one that i got on my phone <laughs> where's this one so we got it all taken care of i tried on the ring oh and another reason that i didn't purchase it online because of course I could have purchased it online but I didn't know my size at all and the sizes can be completely different depending on the jeweler so you have to know that and I didn't want to do anything funny and mess up my situation and I'm glad that I didn't and I'm gonna tell you guys why later on and towards the the end towards the towards the latter part of this video so i tried on the ring and everything decided on what i wanted the ring was beautiful it looked exactly how it did on the website like i said it was exactly what i wanted let me just say let me just put it like that it was a very nice experience they brought me water they brought me chocolates on a little uh stand thing or whatever i wish i had photos and videos of all of that stuff so i got the ring and everything got to the hotel room the ring was beautiful so fast forward to saturday i kid you not fast forward to saturday and i'm not talking about the next saturday i'm not talking about the saturday after that i'm talking about i got the ring on thursday and that same saturday is what i'm saying okay let me let me calm down because i'm getting mad all over again fast forward to saturday i get home and i'm realizing that the ring is not looking how it looked on thursday it immediately Okay, let, let me just, let me dial back a little bit. So I'm not a rough person at all. I don't even know how to explain this good enough to where you guys can understand this, but I am not a rough person with my stuff. Let's just say I'm pretty careful. Let's just say I've never cracked an iPhone screen and I probably had an iPhone for like five, seven years. I've never done that. And knock on wood. <laughs> but I am not a rough person person i barely break stuff okay when it comes to stuff that i spend a lot of money on something that i didn't pay over a thousand dollars for i'm not rough with that kind of stuff so for two days my ring is already scratched up i swear to you it only took two days of me having this ring is scratched up so i called them because i was prepared to return the ring like mail it back to them or to return it i called and they basically said if it's not in resellable condition they can't return it and i had already known that before i called them because i had googled it i'm like am i the only one that's not experienced this and there are a few people that have experienced it and like little you know how like you can do like little chat rooms or whatever on random where websites well I was googling it and I found some people in some chat rooms they had had a similar experience with having any of the love jewelry so it's not just the rings it's also the bracelets that also scratch I called them and I knew that the ring was not in resellable condition I knew it wasn't because I wouldn't have bought that ring like that the way that it was literally already scratched the shininess of the ring was almost gone because once you get scratches on the top of the ring it's really not as shiny as it originally is I basically felt like I had gotten a knockoff Cartier ring. I honestly felt that way because I was just like, this should not be looking like this in two days of me having it. And let me just say, since then, it has pretty much gotten worse and then stayed the same. So what I mean by that is it got to its worst looking point and then it kind of stopped scratching or whatever it just overall looks bad to me i mean it doesn't look like i spent over a thousand dollars on this ring it's kind of upsetting you know what i got this size wrong this is a 56 so yeah the sizings are completely different depending on what jewelry store you go to you can just see how beautiful i'm just looking at it now like in comparison so <sighs> To sum this video up, I do not recommend anybody to get the Cartier Love Ring. I think you should invest your money into other rings. If you're a ring person, I'm a ring person. I don't know if all of Cartier rings are like this. I definitely know that the Love Collection is like this because even when I see, now that I have this ring, I pay attention to when influencers have either the ring or the bracelet. And I can see it even in Instagram stories, I can see the scratches on their rings and their bracelets. So I know it's not just me and maybe I'm asking for too much <laughs> but 
when I spend that kind of money, I want it to last and be shiny and beautiful for at least a year. I mean, give me a year. Don't give me two days. And the reason why I said I'm glad that I didn't buy it online is because if I would have bought it online, kept it for one day and got those scratches and then tried to return it because it wasn't my right size, I would have been double pissed because I wouldn't have been able to return a ring that I can't fit. You know what I mean? So that's why I said that. More of the story is if you want to get anything luxury, make sure you do your research beforehand. I know it don't sound like, like a crazy thing to do. It's Like I said, it's not like it's surgery or anything like that. If you're getting surgery, like you definitely need to research it or whatever. But for jewelry, I think it's, it's important as well, especially if it's a luxury item because you just want to make sure that you're purchasing something that you're really going to best bang for your buck, basically. I say all that and I still wear my Cartier ring because I didn't bought it and I'm going to wear this ring and I do appreciate when people notice that I have the Cartier ring. I regret my purchase because I wish I would have bought something else with that money but I also enjoy my purchase because it's something that I have been wanting for a good amount of months. So here's a close-up of the ring. Excuse my nails but you can see that uh, scratch, big scratch right there. And just as I move the ring you can just see how like dingy it is and the scratches. And if you spend that kind of money on a ring, I just do not expect it to look like this for maybe like five years down the line. And I'm comparing it to like my other branded rings that I have. I'm gonna show you guys my David Yerman ring so you can kind of see what I'm expecting for the quality to be for the amount of money you pay. But you can literally see that looks so bad to me. Okay, so this is my David Yerman ring and it still looks super pretty. Like there's barely any scratches, even when you see it on the smooth part of the ring, not the rope part, but the smooth part, there are barely any scratches. You can see that on the gold as well. So to spend like two times the amount of money on this ring and to already have like these terrible looking scratches and it's dingy, it's not as shiny as before. And I'm gonna put up a photo right next to this so you guys can see, it just looks bad. But let me just tell you guys, this is a short thing <laughs> when I called Cartier they tried to sell me this story on how this this gold is so pure and so uh like the purest form of gold or something and that it's the highest form of gold that you can have so it can scratch bruh I'm just like to me it sound like the other way around it sound like it's not that good quality so it's gonna scratch now I'm, definitely probably is some truth to it I don't think they were lying per se but I'm gonna need you to rework <laughs> this ring and figure out how to not make it scratch. I definitely wanted to do this video for you guys that may have not even thought about it and you're thinking about getting the love ring and you haven't thought about there's a chance that it might scratch. So I wanted to make this video for that case. So yeah, make sure you guys thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not a part of the tea party. I would love to have you and I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.